Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. If you are unable to log in in your system, you can see the error. Something happened and your pin is not available. Click to reset your pin again, but if I'm trying to click on it, it is not working. The first method you can try is click on this option, sign in options. And now you have the option to log in in your system with the help of the password. Now enter your laptop password and you can simply log in in your system. But if you don't have this option, sign in options. In that case, uh, the second method you can try is open your system in advanced mode. To open your system in advanced mode, what you have to do is simply press and hold this, uh, this shift key, press and hold the shift key. And after that, click on this power icon then click on restart so you have to press and hold the shift key and also uh, click on restart button to open your advanced mode so this is the advanced mode we need click on troubleshoot then click on advanced option then click on command prompt now if it asks for the uh, login name click on the user login name you have in your system then enter the password then click on continue so this is a command prompt we need now you have to type a command the command will be regedit so this command will open windows registry press enter so this is a uh, registry we need now on the left side you will see this option H key local machine so select this option and then click on files and here you will see the this option load hive click on it now on the left side click on this PC then click on this option your C drive as you can see this is my C drive click on it uh, double click on it then click on windows double click on it now you have to search for a folder name called system32 this is a folder system32 double click on it to open now you have to search for a folder called config this is a folder config double click on it now you have to search for this one software so select this file software then click on open now you will see this small window key name so the key name will be m software then click on ok that's it now you have to double click on this folder h key local machine double click on it and here you will see the folder which you created m software double click on it as well now double click on this folder microsoft double click on it now you have to search for a folder called windows nt so scroll down and here you will find the folder this is a folder windows nt uh, double click on it now you will see this folder here current version double click on it now you have to search for a, a folder called passwordless so scroll down and here you will see the folder this one this is the one passwordless then double click on it now select this folder device select this folder now on the right side you will see i will zoom this window you will see this option device passwordless built version double click on it and you have to change the value data to zero so the value data will be zero then click on ok that's it now cut this window cut this window as well simply click on continue now you will see the option of sign in and now you can enter your password to log in in your system after that to fix your pin issue you have to click on your windows icon then click on this settings option then you have to click on this accounts option now on the left side click on this sign in options 
now you have to click on this option windows hello pin click on it now you have to remove your pin first click on remove click on remove enter your login password first remove your pin now again add your pin now set your pin that's it now you can use your password and pin both so this is how you can fix this issue this is all for the video thank you